Welcome to Because. We have a great show planned for you today. We'll start out with Mark as he checks out the time travelers at Schomburg Tennis Plus. Next, Sophie and Nick will talk about our adult athletic leagues. And we'll conclude today's episode with Erin as she gives Ellie a tour of Schomburg Tennis Plus. Stick around. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, I'm TV's Mark Jolly. We're here at Schaumburg Tennis Plus to watch the Time Travelers Theater Ensemble perform a Friday night improv show, and you're watching Because. Uh, so we're gonna warm you up a little bit too to get us all on the same page. Uh, so Wendy's gonna lead us in the wave. Okay. So follow along with Wendy. Take a break from the hilarity and talk for a moment with one of our performers. This is Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? Good. Now you are the one of the newest members of the cast at Time Travelers. What? Uh, how long have you been here? Um, about three or four months, I think. Yeah. And what do you think so far? I love it. I absolutely love it. What it, What do you love most about it so far? I never thought I was a performer or even funny until I started doing this, and now I kind of shock myself. So. All right. Well, come out and see Erin. She's 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 doing a great job. She's she's very funny. You will enjoy her, right? Yeah. 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 See. Yeah. 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 What the hell was that? A golf ball? Do, do run, 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 run. Do, do run, run. I'm gonna get a broom and sweep it all. Do, do run, 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 run. Do, do run, run. Oh yeah. It hit me in the head. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah! I still do. I do run, 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 do run, run. All right, uh, we're back. Uh, now we have another cast member to talk to. This is Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Hi. Nice to be here. It is great to see you. And, uh, well, you're part of the Time Travelers, right? I am, indeed. How long have you been in the group? I would say about 10 years now. Only 10, I think. Is it more than that? Well, the last count was 10. I don't know. It could be, it could be a year or two more. All right. Sandra joined when she was 20, 12 years. It's about, about 12 years. And uh, how, how do you like it so far? I think um, I, I'm loving it. You're loving it? Uh, yeah, why would you keep doing it if you didn't, right? right? I, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite thing to do? Or what's your, what, have you, what, 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 what has it done for you? Well, it has brought out my personality more and it's just a joyful thing to do all right well there you go sandra has a great time and we have a great time with sandra uh come out and watch our show and you will see why sandra is is a delight right sandra all right thanks sandra <laughs> thank you doctor I, I i don't know what's going on here but the, the, the patient's not doing too good today oh man well, this is my first operation. What do you expect? <laughs> I expect it. It's going to turn out so oh. so. I don't know. I have the tools. Oh, oh geez. Uh, I can't. I mean, I, 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 I cheated at my test. And it's so okay, so we're going to take a little break here from the show. We're at the intermission right now. 
and uh, we we asked uh, one of our uh, lovely audience members. This is Lynn. Say hi, Lynn. Hi. How is everyone? All right. Uh, I don't think we can hear them answer, but I'm sure they said they're okay. Uh, Lynn, you have you ever been to our show before? I have never been here before. And what do you think so far? I had fun making you move. All right. So yeah, Lynn volunteered for one of the games. Came came up and actually moved my body around. You might see that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so Lynn. Uh, have you seen improv before? I have seen improv before. Okay, and you're having a good time tonight, so I'm I take it it's okay, yeah? Yes, have a good time. All right, she's, she's uh, non-committal, but I think she likes it. So uh, that's good. Thank you, Lynn. Uh, go ahead and uh, go, you got wine waiting for you, I take it, or something. I, I'm hoping you're gonna buy me a glass. Oh no, I'm not buying anyone wine. Uh, come to Time Travelers and Lynn will buy. I think is what is what we're hearing. Is that right? And the lovely Erin is the one who invited me. Oh, Erin. Erin is in our cast. You heard from her earlier. So this is great. Lynn, thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate you coming out tonight. And uh, I hope you're planning on coming back to another show. Yes. Thank you, Mark. All right. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks. Bye. Oh, yeah. I like my women like I like my shoes in pairs with their tongues out. All right, and we're here now with one of our other uh, random uh, strangers uh, from the audience. This is Jim, I believe. Hi, Jim. Hi, I'm Jim. Hi, he's Jim. Jim, you've come to our show before? Yes, I've been here quite a few times. Quite a few times. What do you think? Uh, I think it's awesome. I love the amateur um, you know, uh, comedians, and they do great. Uh, one or two that I actually know, and uh, they do a fantastic job, and I like to come seeing them at the end of every month. And uh, is it going to break the bank coming here? Uh, no, it will not break the bank. Um, you know, a couple dollar beers and uh, free entry, and it's a great time for a couple hours of a hell of a lot of fun. All right, that's a free show. You heard it right here from Jim. So from Jim. All right, thanks, Jim. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Have a great day. You too. All right, get us started. That's the Time Travelers over at Schaumburg Tennis Plus. Look up other show dates in our brochure or online. I'm TV's Mark Jolly, and you've been watching Because. Quality parks and recreation opportunities are essential for a healthy, thriving community. Studies show recreation and leisure programs reduce stress and make communities healthier, reduce crime rates, and increase local property values. The Schaumburg Park Foundation recognizes the value of maintaining an exceptional park system in Schaumburg and helping those in need enjoy recreation and leisure programs. Through our three fundraising events, Solstice Hop and Vine Fest, the Lynx Technology Cup, and the Holiday Bazaar, we work all year long to ensure that everyone in Schaumburg can experience health, wellness, and active fun through superior parks, programs, and amenities. Learn more or donate at schaumburgparkfoundation.org or call 847-985-2115. I am here with Nick Kuda, who is the athletic supervisor here at the Schaumburg Park District, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what we have for adults in the sports leagues category. Um, as you guys all know, we have a ton of different events and programs for children and families, but obviously, you know, adults need to have a little bit of fun um, out there on the court as well to have exercise, be social. Um, so if you can tell us a little bit about what we offer here um, sports leagues for adults. Of course. So our first league we have is our Colbrick Volleyball Leagues and that's on Tuesday nights. We also offer a basketball league that's all season long there and it's a men's uh, adult leagues for it there. Uh, we also have a softball league that's offered in the fall and the summer leagues as well. That's also men's and Colbrick leagues and lastly we also have a soccer league that's indoor and outdoor on Sundays. So Nick, how does a team go about registering for one of these leagues? There's a variety of ways 
uh, teams registered for the leagues. Uh, the first way is they could go on our website, so the parkfund.com underneath our athletics page. Uh, the second way is they can actually go to one of our uh, venues, so the Sports Center building or the Mindkeep Recreation Center. There's forms at the front desk they can fill out, hand in, and I would get those. And lastly, they could go through me. So they could email me at nicuda at parkfund.com, and I'll take their information, and then I would then sign them up uh, through that channel as well. Nick, I know there might be some individuals who want to join a team. Maybe they work in the area or live in the area, but don't have you know enough um, enough coworkers or enough friends to put a full team together. How does somebody go about joining the leagues if they really wanted to, but didn't really have a, a team to put together? So on our Park Fun website, on the athletics page, underneath each of our athletics uh, columns there for information, there's a free agent sign-up list. So what happens is they answer a couple questions. I get an email about individuals who want to join a team. Okay, there. And I collect those, those individuals' names, put them in a list, and then I would then either do one or two things. If I think there's a lot of interest for the teams, I can try to create a free agent team where I, these individuals, you know, I'll email them, get the contact information. They can try to work out with each other and try to create their own team that way. That way is a little less likely what happens, but it does happen sometimes. Uh, and then lastly, there is, usually what happens is I would take the list and then this current team, sometimes their players get hurt or they go on vacation and they're shorter player a week. I give them their information and then those captains of those current teams will then find the free agents and reach out to them for as a fill-in. So Nick, I know there are some people that are really competitive and then there are some people that are just looking to get on the court with some friends, get some exercise, you know, play, but also have a little bit of fun. Are there different options for those different types of teams? Absolutely. All of our leagues, we have two different types of levels. We have a competitive league and a recreational league. The competitive league, of course, as it sounds, is there's players who, you know, want to play the sport, but at a higher level than some other people will, where maybe they played some college uh, sport or an athlete in there, or they just, you know, just want to get on the court. Uh, but the recreational league, you know, is just for the fun. They want to go out there, they have a good time with their buddies. They really don't care if they win or not. Of course, you really want to win, but, you know, it's an aspect where they just want to get out there, have a good time with their buddies, and kind of, you know, just you know, kill some time. So we do have two different types of levels. So to us, what's really important is to separate that skill level because it's not really fun if you have one league and a couple of teams are far above the rest. That's a time where sometimes teams get a little upset and they might want to come back with us. So it's important to us that we separate those skill levels so we have a very balanced and competitive leagues. And Nick, where would you fall in this category? Are you more of a competitive person or would you just be out here for fun? That's a very tough question to ask there because, of course, I'm very competitive in playing sports. But when it falls to certain leagues, I'm definitely recreational. And which one of these leagues would be your top if you were able to join one? Uh, I'm a big basketball person, so I definitely would join the recreational basketball leagues. We have fantastic facilities, a good amount of teams, and everybody seems to have a lot of fun. And I've seen a lot of games where it goes down to the buzzer, so it's always fun to be part of a close uh, knit basketball game. Nick, can you tell me a little bit about the different facilities and what makes them unique for athletes to kind of want to participate at our facilities? And then um, the locations, are they accessible? Where are they located? So our, our main two locations for our leagues are at the Schomburg Sports Center and the Olympic Park facility. So the so Olympic Park facility is just off of uh, 53 there on Schomburg and Meacham Road there. We have 10 so soccer fields, five softball fields. It's a great facility. It's, it's just amazing to be out there and you have a ton of parking. So location is just great and perfect to be out there and have a good time there. The Schaumburg Sports Center is right off of uh, 390 Dollar O'Hare over there on Irving Park Road, going that way there. And just, if you go in here, it's indoor, it's, it's beautiful. We have four different basketball courts. We have six volleyball courts. We have two indoor uh, soccer fields. We have an underground betting cage. It's just, it has an, everything for anybody you think of you want to play for a sport here, it, it, it's thought of already. If you want to have a birthday party, we have a birthday party meeting room. So literally, it covers all ages, you know, in sports alike. So it's just, it's really amazing facility, and I really think it goes a long way. When people actually see the building, get in here, they're, they're, they're blown away by it. And I know for Olympic Park, um, there's synthetic fields, is that correct, for soccer? Eight of our fields are turf, uh, two are natural grass, but our softball fields are, are grass. 
Yeah, I've been to the sports center when there's a ton going on and it's just amazing to see the amount of people that fit there. And it's really cool to be there just to see all of these people, you know, getting outdoors, being active in this huge, large facility. So that is a really cool thing to see. So I know there are different sports that go with different seasons and it seems like we, you know, offer something for people to do throughout the entire year so they can stay active and, you know, keep going with that healthy lifestyle. What specific sports are, do we offer um, during which seasons? So soccer and basketball are year round. So all seasons for that. And volleyball is three seasons. So that's going to be the spring, the winter and the fall. And then lastly, we have softball which is going to be for our summer and fall. So Nick obviously there's a lot of different corporations um, here out in Schaumburg and I know a few of my friends they get um, their co-workers together as something fun to do and get a league together. Is that something that they're able to do with the Schaumburg Park District? Uh, absolutely. Majority of our leagues do offer a corporation option for us and those corporation leagues are about are going to be on 530 and 630s uh, in those leagues so it's usually the earlier time frame so it's right after work they, 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 they clock out and they head right over here to have a good time with us for that. But I think really the benefit of that is going to be is it's a it's different. Where a lot of people, if they have a you know a, a Christmas party or end of the year party or whatever it is, you know it's a little bit different where they can get out of the office, they can have a good time with their friends and you know their good buddies and they have a good laugh. You know, and if they win, you know of course sometimes they take that money and have like a pizza party or they buy new equipment and you know really it kind of brings I think that office together compared to just, you know, hanging out during lunch breaks, you know, for a couple minutes, 20 minutes or so, you know, and having small talk, you know, they have, they could be outside, be active and have fun with each other. Yeah, it seems like that would be a really great way to, um, you know, get your coworkers out of the office and to kind of learn something new about them, team building, um, build office morale. I know it's, it's going to be tough sitting at a desk all day or when you're really busy and focused to really get to know your coworkers. I think that would be a really, really fun way to get to know people. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If um, somebody wanted to find out some more information about these leagues, what's their best option? Where should they go? I think the two best options are just, of course, visit our homepage at parkfun.com under the athletics section, or you know, I'm open book. Email me, you know, at nicuda, k-u-t-a at parkfun.com. I am open to any questions you guys offer for me. And I'll get back to you usually, you know, within that business day. Thanks, Nick. This is a great job if you're going to school, high school, college. It's a fantastic job. It's a discipline. You really learn discipline learning, working in this workplace. Anybody that's willing to learn can be taught how to be a lifeguard. We can teach you everything. My favorite part about being a lifeguard is probably coming in uh, and working with these uh, great people. Like We got a really great staff, good friends. You're in the mall, someone drops and you know what to do. Like, just the sense of knowing that you could gain from being a lifeguard. I am here with Jeff Lloyd at Schomburg Tennis Plus. How are you doing, Jeff? Good, how are you? Good. Uh, so we are here at the tennis courts, and well, that's one of the first things that you see when you walk in through our front doors, is you see these uh, tennis courts behind us. Um, what is something um, that you could tell new people that are not familiar with Schomburg Tennis Plus um, that may be intimidated with playing tennis or have never played before, what options do you have for them? So we offer a free 15 minute assessment with uh, one of our tennis professionals here. So if you want to take a private or a, or a group lesson or a class, uh, we'll start off with a 15 minute assessment to see what, what level you are, beginner, intermediate, or, or advanced. And after that assessment, we'll determine what proper program you should be into. 
And is there, um, are they broken up by groups based on age? Are, are there classes available for children and adults? Yes, it's based on age as well as within age, it's based on level. So it could be beginner five-year-old or advanced five-year-old or beginner, you know, 30-something or advanced intermediate 30-something. Awesome. And then for children, do you have courts that, um, that children can play in that maybe, you know, I see these are adult courts, correct? So you probably have something available for children? Right. We have eight courts and three of those courts are lined for those that are uh, 10 and under. They're also lined for adults, but they also have the additional lines for those that are 10 years of age or, or younger. And for tennis players that may not necessarily have the equipment to play, do you, can they um, rent equipment here? Mm -hmm. We have uh, both racquetball um, rackets and tennis rackets available to rent free of charge. Uh, we also have some for sale in our pro shop. Um, and then if uh, anybody was interested, let's say they already know how to play and they wanted to, uh, you know, partner up with a particular tennis um, coach, where can they find information on the coaches that are here um, that they can partner up with? So your first stop is our website, and there's, there's brief bios on the, on the tennis professionals that, that work here. But your next stop, if you need more information, give us a call at our front desk. We can direct you to our tennis director, uh, or just simply stop in, and we can get you, get you more information. Besides classes, what else can tennis players do to improve their game here? So if you're stopping in by yourself, we have a tennis ball machine that you can play with. You can rent uh, on, a, on a daily basis, virtually anytime. We have drilling plays that occur weekly with the tennis professional. Uh, we have leagues that are virtually year-round. Um, and then we have a, an adult tennis mixer actually coming up on September 13th. They actually occur every month. The next one is on September 13th. So, but for more details on all of those things, you'll go to our website, parkfun.com. We are here at Chamber Tennis Plus facility, um, workout facility actually, um, and we are standing in the basketball court as well. Uh, we do offer open basketball court here, correct? Correct. So you can enter the facility via a daily guest pass or, or, or basic membership. We have different types of memberships, but your basic membership will get you access to our fitness area, which is behind us. Um, great fitness area with selectorized machines, free weights, cardio equipment, uh, much more subdued, usually more quiet than, than uh, most other fitness areas. So uh, if you're looking for a more laid back, low key atmosphere for your fitness area, this would be it. So we have open basketball um, on our basketball court virtually all the time. Um, our four lap lane pool is an adult only pool. Um, we have uh, steam room sauna and uh, lots, of lots of various amenities to take advantage of outside of the tennis courts. We also have six racquetball courts. Uh, we have a fitness studio. Uh, so a ton of amenities, ton of options here at uh, the STP. Everything can be found on parkfun.com of course. And you mentioned um, a fitness studio. Do we offer fitness classes here as well? We do. For a small additional fee outside of your membership or your, or your guest fee, uh, there's a, a variety of classes uh, available. Um, so those can all be found, again, on parkfun.com. We are at STP's Bar and Grill. Um, what are some of the things that, um, can this space be rented out for birthday parties or for outings? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. So the bar and grill is open Tuesday through Friday nights for, for patrons in general, but we can also rent out the space for birthday parties for kids, adults, and also corporate outings. So corporate entities can come in and rent the bar and grill and also utilize other spaces if they wanted to go play tennis with their, uh, with their colleagues or racquetball or something along, along those lines. So uh, corporate outings that, that both integrate the sports offerings here as well as the bar and grill. And I see large viewing windows so can parents come in and watch what's the activities that are going on out there while they're in here relaxing in the bar right we have we have floor to ceiling uh viewing windows for the tennis courts uh right here off of the bar and grill so when uh parents are, are watching their kids they have a they have a great view perfect and then i also noticed that we have tvs in here Mm -hmm. We have six flat, flat screens throughout the facility, so there's always something on, Cubs game, U.S. Open, something along those lines. So it's a great place to have a snack and watch a game. And if somebody wanted to rent the space for a party, where can they go? So you go to our website to start, parkfund.com, and you'll find uh, rental rates, and, and then you can call, find out about availability. So Jeff, I know you are just recently the new manager of Schomburg Tennis Plus. What got you interested in becoming the manager here? 
So it's a really unique facility. It's got really something for everyone, tennis, racquetball, the fitness area, uh, the pool. I played recreational tennis all my life, so it was really attractive from that standpoint. But um, throughout the interview process, the, the people that I was working with, interviewing with, I've heard nothing but great things about Schaumburg Park District, so it was an exciting opportunity. Wonderful. And how do you take time for fun? So tennis, as I mentioned, recreational tennis as, as much as I can. Um, racquetball, I'll play basketball, pretty much every sport you can think of. I, I try to, to play a little bit um, as often as I can, as, a, as often as the schedule allows. Wonderful. So yes, make sure to visit Jeff and the team here at Schomburg Tennis Plus. Um, for additional information, please visit our website, parkfun.com, or uh, give us a call. We hope you enjoyed today's show. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget, take time for fun.